Hey guys, so today um, I wanted to do a quick continuation of my old video, my last video, and I also wanted to touch on a few other things that have to do with like what people say about scamming, especially in AJ Play Wild. So basically what um, I wanted to say from the other video is that when it comes to trading, literally the only items that can be stable like you guys want stable items because obviously anything can come back the only thing that won't come back is a headdress that's the only thing that will never come back and the other thing is like magentas which people like those will come back people can get them whenever but like they're a little bit different because it's a glitch or whatever and you know whatever happens with that so especially for AJ Play Wild there's a lot of, like, controversy around spikes for some reason, and I don't really know why. Like, some people will be like, oh, they're just a treasure hunt item. But the point is, is that people still view them as, like, basically a baseline currency. Like, a black spike is worth this amount. And they're, like, the only item that really has this static value. Like, some people will actually give a black spike for a colored one because they just want it and they don't really care. But most people see Black Spike as being a Black Spike. It's like this this one thing. And the thing is, is that even with that, that's like one of the few things are these treasure hunt items that, like, let's look through. They're the only items that really can keep their value and, like, they'll be there no matter what. Like, Forest Tail Armor has, like, a set value. That's not going to change because it's not going to come out in stores. Unless these come out in stores, but I don't think Treasure Hunt items ever will come out in stores. I think they'll either leave the Treasure Hunt, or they'll never, uh, or they'll, or they'll just stay as the Treasure Hunt. For instance, like, the Guitar and Bunny has been there since beta. Stuff like that. <coughs> but... Pretty much, like, the only things you can count on are, like, treasure hunt items and things that you're positive won't come back. Like, certain things that I don't think will come back. Like, certain sapphire sets I don't think return. Like, the king set doesn't return, I don't think. Like, I don't think these items will return. I think they make new sets every month, but I could be wrong. Um, but, basically, it's things that you know for sure won't return. Rares, for instance, don't return ever, apparently. According to AJHQ, they don't return. So I like to buy a lot of rares. If it's, a, if it's a nice rare, I usually buy a few. Because, like, for instance, for instance, the rare lay. I got a lot of rare lays because it's a nice item. Like, look. Like, it's a, pr a nice-looking item. And it's a rare item, so it will never come back. So if I come back to Asia in like two years, the rare lay is going to not even exist by then. And it'll be one of the most valuable items, whereas in two years, I'm sure almost every beta would have been cycled through. And they will be worth a lot less than they are, while rare items never come back. Um, same with spikes. Like, the spike will just stay as a spike. Like, I don't think its value will go up or down unless it gets added to a store or it gets removed from the treasure hunt. Those are the only two things that will really change its value. If it gets added to a store, it will be worth nothing. But I don't think treasure hunt items get added to stores. And if it gets removed from the treasure hunt, it will become a lot more valuable. For instance, there are certain items that got removed from treasure hunts. I have, like for instance, there's this one item. Uh, let me find it. This carrot earrings was in a horse treasure hunt, and, like, I never see them. They're, like, really rare. They were, like, for a short time in a horse treasure hunt or something, and I'm sure they're worth something now. And, like, it's just, like, items either become worth a lot more if they leave, or they go into stores. I've Like I said, I've never seen a treasure hunt in a store. So, basically, you can count on... Even though they're not the most valuable items, this is looking at AJ Play Wild. And AJ Browser, it's probably going to be your headdresses forever, unless they decide to get rid of them. Headdresses, magentas, and spikes are basically your baselines. Uh, but here, spikes, because their value never changes, they're basically been a treasure hunt this whole time. Um, 
and rares that look good. And what else? Um, and, uh, no, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and certain Sapphire sets, if you're positive, they won't come back, but they might come back. I don't know how that works. Um, for instance, like the ice set, like each piece is worth like a black spike or more. Like they're really high demand. Not to mention, don't sell yourself short. Like the, some people will like give away items because they don't know how much they're worth. Make sure you're getting what it's worth. You know, don't just sell yourself short. Even if you want an item, you can get that item and more if you wait. You know, just have some patience. So anyway, <clears throat> that kind of brings me to the second part of my video. So um, the other thing I want to talk about was what people consider scamming sometimes, and it is so annoying. People sometimes will consider scamming whenever you ask for an item, but your list isn't quote-unquote good enough for them, so they think that's scamming because, let's say I was asking for, uh, let's say someone had the Blue King set, because I'm right now I'm looking for that, and they saw my list, and they think that it's not good enough, which I actually, I think, I think it is, because nobody really, the, the king said I was pretty low demand. So, let's say they don't think my list is fair. To them, that would be considered scamming. They would consider that scamming for some reason. I don't know why, but they consider it scamming. So, that's the thing. It isn't scamming if you're just asking for the item. Someone can send it to you, if they want to send it to you, that's that. That's their own thing. Scamming <clears throat> is deliberately going out of your way to trick or deceive someone into giving you an item that you know is worth more, or you're just let's just let's just say trick or deceive someone into giving you an item because that's basically the baseline of it. Even if it was worth nothing, if you're tricking them to give it to you, it's basically scamming. If you're tricking them to give it to you, and. Um, the other thing that people like to call scamming, which I think is the dumbest one, is when someone, when you're asking for an item, or someone, or you're not asking for an item, and someone just sends you a trade on an item that they want, and the trade's really good. Like, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. One time I had, um... I don't remember what I had up. I had, like, it's some, something that was, like, a treasure hunt item. I don't remember. It wasn't even that good. But someone sent me, uh, they sent me three-horned, they sent me the, the three-horned armor helmet, which is very valuable in this game. They sent me, <coughs> they sent me Explorer backpack, which is also worth a lot. Let me see where Oops. Explore radar pack. That's what I was saying. And then they sent me two other things that are really valuable just for this one item. And that's a huge, huge overtrade. But the thing is, is that's not a scam to accept that. And who, who in their right mind would actually decline that? Why would you decline that? Because the person obviously wants the item, and they obviously don't want to use those other items that they're giving to you. So why wouldn't you take that? That's someone who's offering to you. That's like saying, <clears throat> I have this item, offer on it, and then someone hands you $100, and you know the item's worth 10 bucks, but they want the item anyway, so you just take the 100 Why wouldn't you take it? You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure none of you would actually decline that. Like, Let's look at it more on an item that people generally want. Let's say the raccoon tail. So if I was just to t be like, some new jam or whatever, and I don't care about trading at all. And so I click on Snowflake Arctic Wolf and send her my raccoon tail on an elf tail armor because I want the red elf tail armor and I have no means of getting it on my own. I just send the raccoon tail. Do you think it'd be scamming if she accepted that? Because I don't think that would be scamming if she decided to take that because obviously I want the item and she wants the item. It goes both ways. <sighs> And I just, I just don't see anyone declining these, like, trades that would be so good just because it's a good trade. I mean, how would you guys, how would you guys build value or get any rares if you... Okay, sorry for pausing, guys. Something happened to my friend. 
really, like, the exact thing happened to her. So I'm going to go to her right now. And so... <sighs> Alright, so basically, this girl sent her trade on an item of hers. They sent her a fox hat on some, uh... I think they sent her a fox hat on her forest tail armor. And so basically, they... She accepted that, and then the person, which I don't think they're here anymore, but the person got upset with her because she uh, she declined the trade afterwards and then asked my friend, is that an overtrade? And my friend said yes, because they're just going to be honest. I mean, they're not a scammer who's trying to deliberately lie about the item's value. So the person asked the question, is it an overtrade? She answered Honestly, she said, yes, it's an overtrade. And then the person called her a scammer for that. And it's it's not scamming if you're going to accept the item. If she was to send her... If she ended up sending her forest tail armor on something that that girl had that was really crappy, like something in the store or something, and then that girl accepted, that would make her a scammer. That's the thing. It doesn't make them a scammer for doing that. It like, And I don't know why people think that these things make them a scammer, because it really doesn't, and you guys shouldn't think that it makes someone a scammer, because even though it might not seem like it's really the right thing to do, it's something that there's nothing wrong with doing it, and it's basically how most traders get their item, because they're items, because how would you get, how would you get to a point, like, like, look at the YouTuber's challenge, the plushie to headdress challenge. You could not get to a plushie to a headdress without doing something like that. Because then you would never be increasing your value. And that's the point. The point is to, it, the point of a trade is to win, basically. You want to win the trade. You want to get a better deal than they're being offered. There's two, yeah, actually, so there's two reasons. There's to win, and then there's to just get an item you want. Sometimes you'll overpay and get an item you want. Or sometimes you'll win. And that's basically how it goes. And people don't seem to grasp that, that it's supposed to be that. Scamming is another story. Scamming's wrong. Because it's really messed up to lie to someone about an item or tell them that they're going to give them something after they trade to you or something like that. Like these weird, dumb scams. But accepting a trade on an item, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, with that being said... There is, it's debatable whether or not taking an item like that just came out that you know is valuable, putting it on your trades list and trying to make it out like that item is is really, really valuable. There's something that could be said that it may be a bad thing or, you know, I don't know. Like, let's say <coughs> Bunny Ears just came out, right? So you could argue that it could be kind of scammerish to put the bunny ears on your trades list. Like, I mean, they're not out anymore, but to put the bunny ears on your trades list and make it out like, oh, they're out. they're not out right now. They're still rare, and they were worth, like, more than a black spike at the time, the black ones. And I think that's kind of wrong. But besides that... Getting sent good trades or over trades, there's nothing wrong with that. So, I think that will wrap it up. Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for listening. Please subscribe. Tell me what you think about it. You know, I know this is a bit of a controversial opinion because you guys like to think, you know, it's a good thing to do, not to, but, you know, just be honest. <laughs> you would totally not decline. Like, let me put it into perspective of an AJ browser. Nobody would decline a black long on an orange long or something. Like, if that person wanted an orange long and they sent you a black long, would you actually decline that? I don't think so. This is kind of even, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty good, though. But exactly what I'm saying. It's not scamming to win in a trade. It's scamming to lie and deceive someone 
if it's it's scamming to lie and deceive someone to get an item that you want. It's not scamming to be sent a trade that's an over trade and accept it. That's all I'm saying. So take it easy. Tell me what you guys think, and please subscribe.